So I've been asking a lot of the truckers that I run into what kind of pain they are feeling at the pump. So yesterday I talked to several of them that said they put a thousand dollars into their semi truck to haul that freight that America needs to put food on the table. And there's just so many truckers that said that they're about to park their rig. They can't really afford to continue to stay in business as a small business, small, small owner operators. So yesterday, a few of them literally kicked the pump off when it hit a thousand dollars. They didn't want to go over. And, uh, this guy here, I talked to him and he, uh, he's, as you can see, he's got the long tank there and I got one long tank like that. And I also got a uh, short tank on the other side. So he, he also told me that he put a thousand dollars in that Peterbilt. I got a 2019 Peterbilt is what I'm in. And I can put uh, about $800 in this thing. So anyway, I want to talk about the inflation. The inflation is only going to get worse because as I talk to more and more truckers out here, especially owner operators where they get their own loads through the brokers, some of the companies are already saying, and it's going to get much worse, obviously, but they're already saying we're going to hang on to some of our product because we can't afford to ship it because the trucking companies have to obviously um, ask for more, you know, 20% increase or whatever because of fuel prices. They can't make any money if they don't rise the, you know, up, up to four, four fifty, four dollars and four dollars and fifty cents per mile just to haul the freight. And sometimes closer to five dollars a mile to haul the freight. Uh, so they can't really afford that. So you can see how inflation works. If they're not going to ship products because of the fuel prices, now all at once it's affecting uh, many different products, you know, food, clothing, all of these different things, we're going to start seeing a rise. That's how the food, that's how inflation works. The food starts going up, the clothing starts going up, all your possessions, everything starts costing more. That's how I see another recession on the rise. Just like in 2008, when gas prices were, that's the last time they were this high. And fuel prices, diesel fuel, when it gets this high and it affects the truckers, now it's going to affect the whole nation. And everything starts rising. So remember, if you try to make sense of this whole thing, it, it, it affected the truckers' wallets first before it affected your wallet. Because we're the ones that have to haul this stuff across this nation. And if we can't afford to haul it, that's going to cause a humongous recession. And they better get a grip on this nation. Or, we're, or they're going to lose grip real quick, real fast. Y'all have a blessed day. If you're a home